Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my signals video for Monday the 12th of March. Now, usually I just pick up on one of our signals, either long or short. But I'm going to do a long and a short today on the 60 minute. After Friday's uh, very good bullish day, good news, all it took uh, was a bit of good news in the markets and we had a really good catalyst for a bullish day. Lots of so-called experts out there saying there's going to be a big correction on Monday. Uh, there's going to be continuation. But to be honest, guys, these guys have got a crystal ball. They don't know what's going to happen over the weekend. And they don't know how the markets are going to react on Monday morning. So the best thing to do as retail traders is to look for both long and short trades in these situations. Uh, and this is where our stock signal membership really comes in. Because our members in our members area here get both uh, downloadable spreadsheets for longs and shorts on weekly, daily and 60 minute time frames. So this gives us a good opportunity to look for potential trades in both directions uh, and get those set up and ready for each trading day. Our members simply click on the image here and download the spreadsheet for both long and short, weekly, daily, 60 minute time frame. So I've chosen both one lot, a long, and a short for today and let's have a look at the charts for those and see what I'm looking at. Okay so I'm, I'm looking at 60 minute time frames for both of these and these have come from our uh, signals for today March the 12th. The first one is Foot Locker on the short. Now I'm, I'm already long term short on this anyway on the weekly dime, time frame and in the last sort of week or so it's pulled back against a, um, a gap down on the daily and on this wave four pullback here. So I'm using the trade station version of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for this. It is available for Ninja Trader and uh, Think or Swim and Multi Charts as well. So for those that are members, let me just zoom out here just to confirm where I've put the isolated the wave count on the 60 minute here. So we've got this double top here um, after a range bound period. So this is the start of our trend down. As you can see, we've had the wave one, two, three, and the wave force pulled back into our automated probability zone. So let's zoom in here. And then we'll look at the entry strategies here. So after the wave four has pulled back, it's found resistance in our red zone. So this is a 75% probability it's going to go on and make a wave five low into our automated target zones down here in blue. So also with our membership for all the stock signals, we have the filters. So we have the stochastic crossing over in the overbought zone down here at the bottom. And we can also just see the 535 oscillator between the 90 and the 140% um, down right at the bottom here. So where's the entry for this? Quite simple on this one I want to be a little bit conservative just to ensure that we are on the way back down for this. So we usually use the 6-4 moving average low, this red moving average low here uh, which is part of our indicator suite for the entry but I've gone a bit below that. I've gone below this support level here, this attempt to go short but failed. So a 40.30 entry, $40.30 entry short on FL on the 60 minute with a target, our target zones around about $37. So we got a risk to reward of one to 1 1.6. Stop loss just above the wave four here, um, around about um, 42.53, something like that. Um, so again, when we're looking at this on the 60 minute, two or three cents above that wave four high. Nice indecision doji there. If the markets too, do turn bearish on Monday, it's a good opportunity for this. It's in an overall bearish trend anyway, um, longer term, and this would be a good entry at 40.30 short on FL. So for the potential long, I've gone for ENDP. Again, this is on the 60 minute. Let me just zoom out a little bit here. So we've got big corrective phase here, really, really big swings on the six minute time frame. And then from this C pivot low here, we had a trend start. OK, so we've had a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, and the wave force pull back into our automated probability zones here. 
we can see down at the bottom the 535 oscillators crowned between the 90 and 140 percent here again a part of our Elliott wave indicator suite and also the stochastic has pulled over in and crossed over into the oversold zone here so looking good wave force found good support so let's zoom in and have a look at potential entry for this long So I've gone reasonably aggressive with this in case the markets do continue their bullish momentum here. So uh, for longs uh, on our indicator suite, we look for entries above the six foot moving average high. This is the green here. So again, the wave force pulled back into the red zone. 75% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high this time because it's a long into our automated target zones here so very simple to set up here I've gone a little bit more conservative uh, than uh, the first bar for, for Monday's session here would be um, very very low here I just want to be a little bit more sure that this is going to continue so I've gone for 714 entry here with a stop loss just below the wave for low here target is around 765 and like that into our uh, target zone. It's got a great risk reward for this potential long on ENDP. Very, very simple to set up. The signal service gives both long and short. So you've got lots and lots of opportunities on these spreadsheets that are downloadable every day uh, to, to, to play both sides of the market, really. And depending on how it opens and, and how the momentum goes within the markets, uh, these trades do do generally work out very very well so that's it for today both a long and a short trade idea hope this helps have a great training day and i'll speak to you all tomorrow